Scallywag be a right thorn in me side. Let it be known that. <coughs> <coughs> okay, that's enough of that. I've got another 20 years and a lot of whiskey drinking before my voice sounds like that normally. No more piracy for me. So, do I still have problems? I still have problems. This sounds like a job for Ambassador Pineapple. You'll be representing me on the floor. Now go out there and work your magic! Oh! Sounds like we came to a resolution! Testing. One, two. Testing. Well, I'm glad everything worked out. <laughs> so what's this? Surrender... Oh, shit! They know my name! Fuck! This changes everything. I can't just waltz out of here now, I'm wanted! Damn it, my beard betrayed me! They got an ID because I'm the only fucking scientist here with a beard! If I'd gone with that stupid Einstein here, they wouldn't be able to pick me out from a lineup! Okay, focus, focus. The first objective is to not die. That hasn't changed. The second is to not detonate this missile, I guess. Stop that Jesus! Yeah, I guess nothing's really changed, has it? You dumb bastards. This is the wrong place to lay an ambush. You don't set explosive trip mines down, then start firing automatic weapons next to a missile, all right? I understand you guys have hostility issues or whatever and want to kill me, but regardless, I would think that weapons are the one thing you jarheads might understand something about. That's not a good sound. I'm leaving. This is suspiciously convenient. I haven't been used to things going my way for quite a while now. Hey, hey, maybe it's karmic balance. Since now I know I have much bigger long-term problems, I'll have less short-term ones. No, lasers, aliens, I just flat out have problems. But I'm willing to share my problems. See? Now we all have problems! I really do have problems, though. Oh, hey, a door! Stop. Stop. I command you. Okay. There's gotta be some money in one of these rooms. No, this is the wrong one. Ah! Thought you were sneaky, huh? What the hell? Did it just shut the door on me? But I'm a great salesman! Hi! I'm selling these fine used bullets! Free samples! Oh, looks like you already have some from the looks of things. But then why is there no- Ah, the missus of the house! Try some of our product! This sale isn't going very well. I'm just going to grab the ammo and leave. It smells like a vomitorium in here. Makes you wonder what the purpose of this room was. I'm not even seeing a storage crate. What's this? You're dead. Wow. I can't even make fun of that. Military intelligence aside, how do they know I was gonna be here? This is a dead end. Okay, that's it. No more side paths. It's not like I know where I'm going anyway, but that security guy said I could take this track straight to the surface. Now, I do know he's a liar, but so far he said things that have been half true. You know, like the devil. So statistically, it makes more sense to follow the advice of a half liar versus making completely random decisions like I have been. What is that? Jesus Christ! Next stop, right here! You can have the tram! Fuck! You just wrecked my train of thought. Uh, I should turn my light off. So, uh, are we cool now? I don't think he sees me. That's good, but I- Oh! I don't like how liberal this guy is about firing rockets inside an underground tunnel. He's playing Chicken Little and doesn't even know it. I don't think this guy has an architectural engineering or even a geology degree to accurately assess the low-bearing stress of rockets on this tunnel. <laughs> Rocky the Rocket Ranger. God! You see, I have to kill you before you kill yourself! And me! Well, either that's a hit or he's a very good actor. As long as he stays down, I don't think I need to do a confirmation kill. I'm not at that phase of my life yet. 
Okay, so how do I operate this thing? I want to blow things up too. Uh, I think it's out of rockets. Oh well, guess I'm walking now. Goddamn rocket launcher. You know, everyone's always told me that I'm paranoid and I need to calm down. But guess what? I'm alive! And everyone who said that is dead! That's the ultimate proof that someone doesn't know what the hell they're talking about. Follow my advice and you'll die just like me! <laughs> I have the US military spray painting my name on a wall, setting laser traps, and firing a fucking rocket launcher at me, and people have the gall to call me paranoid. Fuck them. Fuck everybody. Anyone who doesn't listen to me deserves the fate they get. I should kill everyone just on principle. See, this is what I'm talking about. Aliens aren't evading, Freeman. You're just being paranoid. The mailman's not spying on you, Freeman. You're just being paranoid. What else? There's no society of anthropomorphic frog people living in the sewer, Freeman. You're just being paranoid. Owls can't read your thoughts, Freeman. You're just being paranoid. Bet you wouldn't call me paranoid now if you were still alive. How about expecting five monsters to ambush me? Is that paranoid? Oh, hey, that's nice. The tram stopped automatically. Well, I'm not seeing any controls, but if this can ram a concrete divider, then I'm sure it can handle a simple wooden gate. I am unstoppable. Oh, what the hell? Something's tripping the brakes automatically. Piece of crap. Can I move this? No, it's locked in there. Well, I no, wait, wait, wait. I bet the controls are down that hallway and there are a truckload of soldiers waiting to shoot me. I've done this dance before. They can keep the damn tram. I'm really not that attached to it. I'm not like those Jabba the Hutt bastards I see in Walmart scooting around in their motorized carts. I can walk. And seeing how these clowns operate, I'm sure that concept alone is going to thwart their plans for a while. I just hope they don't figure out that laser trip mines are more effective when you can't see the beam. That could cause me some problems. Oh, look who called it! I think I just saved myself and a lot of other people some trouble. Let's see. Oh, yeah, there he is. He doesn't even see me. Yeah, look at him. He is expecting me from that doorway. Glad I didn't go that way. So wait, did I see another tram? I did. Where does this one go? Ah, another gate. So the noise would alert this guy, and I'd have a grand journey of about 30 feet. I don't think so. Hmm. I really am bummed they've identified me, though. That means I'm a fugitive now. So they've probably frozen my bank accounts. I need to get back to Massachusetts. I have about $10,000 in gold buried in Harold Parker State Forest that I put there for exactly this kind of situation. Now I didn't anticipate I was going to get framed like this. I put it there so in case I got caught embezzling, I would have some sort of exit strategy. Now granted, $10,000 will only get me so far here. But if I can make it to India, I can live like a king with that kind of money. The American dollar goes a lot farther over there. I'm going to need a fake ID. I'll check in with Eddie once I get out of here. He can probably hook something up for me. I'm going to need a car too, but that shouldn't be too difficult. I can just take some motorist hostage with my machine gun and drive to Massachusetts that way. Gonna be a long drive. Mm, I hear soldiers. I'm not stopping here. And look! There's another gate with no switch! So there really was no point in taking the- OH GOD! <laughs> Good. Stay. That sounds like a heavier caliber gun, and while I admit I'm curious, I really don't feel like another bullet resistance test for this suit. Haha! <laughs> Elevator! Yes! Oh my god! It goes up and it doesn't even snap! This is amazing! Explosives. Oh. I should think about this for a minute. You know, I'm really starting to think maybe this whole thing isn't a rescue operation. 